Hey, Bill Vasey here. Thanks for watching this video on the SocketWorks SQL Connector. This one's all about creating and exporting formatted Excel reports. All right, we'll pivot to SocketWorks and go to Setup. You find that under your name. We'll go right to Report Manager, and from here, we're going to add a new report. First, be aware there are static fields. These are system fields that can be used for things like a company name or even a logo or image. Add a new report. We're going to make this a view report. This means we can set it to a table. Give the view a name. Pick a data start row. Everything above this row is where we'll put our logos and header information. Pick a table. And then do not disable the auto filters. Those are nice on your Excel report. And the drawing script report deserves its own video. Now that the report has been added, we can enter edit mode. Here, use the header controls to show where the data row is going to start. And then open up the field palette so static or database fields can be added. Start populating the area above the data row with static fields. Here is where, for example, the logo could be placed and a few other fields to help enhance the report. Keep in mind that Excel workbooks can be imported. So if you already have a formatted Excel workbook, just use the header controls to import that as a starting point. Whether from scratch or after importing an Excel formatted workbook, add the database fields column by column. And as you shift from column A to column B and find fields of choice that are going to populate your report header, keep in mind that you can override those report header values from the display names to a name of your choosing. These names persist specifically for each report. So regardless of what column you actually put into the report, you can have an alternative header value. So we'll see equipment period tag again show up on our Excel report for column A. Well, now we're going to save the report and let's navigate to the user environment. So from here, we go to the main control navigation in the header. Go find our data views. Browse to our connection and table. And now within the view list, we'll see the equipment list report that was just added. In data views, we don't see the logo. We don't see the static fields that were added in rows one through five. We only see the header values and the data itself. We're going to have to email ourselves this report. This will be our Excel report. And here we have a full email body editor. So you can send this report to yourself and copy or even blind copy teammates right from the SocketWorks environment. Well, that email will just take a moment or two to reach my inbox. Upon receipt, it can be opened and viewed. And all the static fields, including the logo, display along with the overridden column headers. Let's navigate back to the dashboard from where we started and look at the report or bulk report button in the upper right hand corner. Here, if reports are set as bulk reports, they can be exported with all of their companions. Well, thanks for watching this video on the SocketWorks SQL Connector and how to set up and configure formatted reports. Those reports can be set as bulk reports to export with their companions or just be sent individually. 
This is a great way to plug your SQL data into SocketWorks.